hello guys welcome back to our channel so in today's video we are going to see a problem so we are going to see this problem okay uh, okay so this is a problem description okay so pause the video and try to read this uh, description and try to understand on your own okay so let's now debug this one so write a function that takes a non empty array which means there is some value okay of distinct integers of different different integers so there is no repeated elements in an array okay so we have to write a function which should take an empty array and an integer representing a target sum so we have to write a function that accepts two parameters one is an array and another one is an, another one is an integer it represents a target sum now let's uh, we'll see what is target sum okay if, and then second one if any two numbers in the input array if any uh, assume that this is an input array if any two numbers in the input array sum up to the target sum so if you add any two numbers in this array if it equals to the target sum we have to return that two numbers which which two numbers if you add means we'll get target sum so we have to return that one so in this case we'll add 8 plus 9 means we'll get 17 right so we have to return them in an array 8 comma 9 in an array we have to return okay else suppose if, uh, if you add any any two numbers that uh, in any two numbers that's there is no match means we have to return an empty array no two numbers up to the target sum the function should return an empty array so totally we have two condition okay we have to add any two numbers and uh, if any one of if any two numbers added means if we get as uh, the target sum means we can just return that both numbers in an array else we have to return an empty array okay so this is what a problem description okay sorry okay so i have written a function which accepts two parameters one is an array and another one is an target sum okay so the, now the logic we are going to use the time complexity order of n square which means we can use two loops two loops means the loop inside loop nested loops right so we can use two loops and the order of one space so we should not use any other extra space like declaring an array and manipulating with them so it's not used extra space okay okay so so first we will see the logic okay time complex order of n square okay so what i'm going to do is first we are we are going to take this number and we are taking this number we are pointing to first number one and we are going to check with remaining all these numbers by adding them like one plus two if it is equals to the 17 means we can just return 1 comma 2 so in our condition it is not possible right and then if 2 is possible not means we can go to 3 3 is also not possible means 4 5 6 7 8 9 so so now we have completed one iteration so in one iteration also there is no matching means we can go to the next element 2 and with the 2 we can just go to the next element like above 2 so 3 4 5 6 we can go to these numbers and the 3 if we take 3 means we'll go to this this many times and the 5 means we'll go to this many times like keep on we have to do and if there is any match means we just have to return them return that both number in an array so when come when we come to 8 means so 8 plus 9 which is equal to 17 right so at that time our condition is made we just we can just return an array 8 comma 9 okay now this is what we have to do okay so as i told before the time complexity order of n square okay so the the we are here we are pointing right so this we can take in an outer loop and remaining these elements and all we can do in an inner loop okay so i'll write the code for l in range starts from order of n of array minus one i'll tell why i put minus one okay on a in range i plus one and we are going up to n of array okay so i okay i told you right first we are going to take one and then we are going to check with the remaining all these numbers by adding them and if uh, the target uh, match means we just have to return okay okay if i take one means we should not add one again right we should not add one again because one plus one so if i say if we are adding same number means uh, it is not possible right we'll get and we'll get some 
we might get some other output right like so we have to go with the next number because two different integers two distinct integers so we have distinct integers right okay we take one means we have to go to next element of the tie okay so that's what we are doing if you take zero means we are taking zero plus one which is one if the i pointing to one means the j will point to the here it starts from here okay and why i put array minus one means so the inner loop is going up to len of we are starting from i plus one and we are going to up to that array okay so when uh, when i comes to eight means when i comes to nine nine means so we are doing i plus one so i plus one means it will be, it will go beyond that nine right so there is no element so we will get some error like uh, out of range so a program will crash an error so that we should not go up to that element so we should go up to the len of array minus one so eight eight means the inner loop will go eight plus one which is nine nothing but nine okay now we will not get any error right okay so that's what i put here len array, len of array minus one and i plus one because here array minus one means it will point to eight and eight plus one is nine so it will not go beyond that level okay so that is what we are doing and okay first time we are pointing to one and we are going to check remaining all, all these numbers by adding okay if okay array of i and plus array of j okay if it is equal to the target sum means we just have to return them what we have to return array of i and array of j i array of j okay so let's use this example first we'll take first i will point into j first i will point into this one and j will pointing j will start from here two and we'll keep on adding these numbers like one plus two and then if it is match if it is match means we'll just return if it's not match means we'll go to three one plus three one plus four one plus five one plus six like that we'll keep on adding okay once here also if it not match means in the one in the first iteration if there is any no ma no matching like no no matching means we'll just move i to second number so i will go to one one means we'll find i will find into two and then this loop will start from three and we'll keep on doing the same task again and again so when the i comes to eight and j will comes to j will start from here so eight plus nine which is equal right then it will our condition will true then the loop uh, then the condition will then the uh, if condition will return an array which is nothing but eight comma nine so this is how it will work and last condition we have to see if no two numbers sum up to the target sum so if there is no match in this array if you add two numbers means if there is no matching in in an array the function should return an empty array okay so we'll just return so if there is any matching means it will return here itself suppose if there is no match means it will come out of the loop so at the end of the line it will just return an empty array okay okay that's all okay now in this problem we have solved this problem using order of n square okay and order of one space so in the upcoming videos we will try to solve with less complexity with time with less time complexity like order of n order of n log n Okay, in the upcoming videos, we will see the same problem with the different time complexity. Okay, so we will run this one and test that this is working or not. Okay, so all test cases are passed. Run four test cases. Okay, I hope you understood this problem. If you have any problem, you can comment below. Okay, I'll try to answer it. Okay, thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video.